God, I need a haircut. Hi, I'm Shane. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Okay. I'm Shane. Hi, welcome to Smosh Mouth. I'm Shane. And I'm Amanda. And you know what? Shane and I have been really trying to figure out how we can best serve ourselves and how we can best be confident in this world. And really, like, how we can really have a good vibe. Yeah, today's all about our own vibes and our own confidence and uh, how to exude the, the best of ourselves. Um, a term some people use. Yeah. Uh, as if this is a morning show. Uh, uh, people, uh, Amanda, have you heard? People are using a term called serving c Yeah, people on the streets of Los Angeles, California <laughs> are really using this new term. And we decided to pop it over to our man on the street to tell us how to best serve I'm a man on the street because I have no home. <laughs> yeah, uh, here with us is is Tommy. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, so you basically created this term. No, no. <laughs> what? what? Tommy, you basically invented the I don't words. Know if this is Amanda, or if this is the Tommy, talk show's character. Tommy, you. So you invented the words serving and. Which, by the way, <laughs> so our editor doesn't murder us. We're going to say bunt or hunt or whatever we want, except for the word <laughs> so we don't have to get it bleeped out all the time. Well, and we probably will inevitably say the word. So, Tommy, on we'll, we'll preface this a little bit later, but Tommy, could you give us a sound for when we accidentally do say the word? Oh my God. Uh, I Yeah, this is great to be on this side of this question. Wow, I have never thought about it. Um, it's good. It's good to do a vowel okay. that I know, and it has to be short and quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go. Uh, oh! I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna give some options just in case, as I do in my show, which okay. is why if it ever cuts to them and they're sitting differently, it's because we took like three minutes where I'm like, faster, and then like, <laughs> um, how about this? Whoa! Whoa! All right, there we go. I like that. So should we say serving? Uh -huh. That was not what, what? Right. <laughs> um, it's gonna be okay. Okay. For those of you listening who might be confused, mm -hmm. uh, we are referring to the term serving, oh. cunt, which um, I'm, I feel like everyone's got to have heard it by now. It's, it's it's big on Twitter. I feel like it's big on Twitter. Yeah. Um, and Tommy, you have a show on your own YouTube channel. That's correct. Called Serving Cut, oh. and you judge different things mm -hmm. on whether they are or are not serving. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you bring guests on there. That's right. And the you YouTube, brought Angela on. You brought Angela, Angela on. on. Brought Had Courtney on. Rachel. Rachel. Yep. Yeah. And Courtney's so episodes out soon. When did it start? Um, Give us the, the lowdown. You want like the full story, front to back? What are you looking for? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, okay. dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you mother. Oh, honey, on the street. Tell us what's going on. <laughs> we're <laughs> anchors, so we're gonna say. So, Tommy. Please tell us a little bit about how your show started and what's it all about? What's it serving? Well, I wanted you to cue me up in the anchor as, oh. the, as the news person. And here today, we're here with Tommy on the street. We want to know exactly what your show is all about. <laughs> Give us a little bit of the details and what was the origin date of your show? Origin date. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, okay, so... Uh, about the show first, I'll, I'll hop into that. Uh, it's basically like, uh, if you go and watch it, please. Um, please. Uh, it's like the runway portion of RuPaul's Drag Race, and that's it, with objects and things and creatures and no people. Um, that's Ooh, a hard I rule that. I have where it's like no no people. Uh, at one point, I was going to do a Sims characters, and I'm like, but those are... But those are people. Those are people. So it's like it's a it's a uh, uh, exercise in imagination and mm -hmm. uh, being like critical for no reason. It's like the stupidest yeah. nothing show I could mm. possibly come up with. Yeah. And it's a definition. It's a term that I still I think I know it. Right. But I I sent you a video the other day of a koi fish. Right. That people were saying serves, and I was like <laughs> I was like yeah this fish does, and you were like no. 
No, it's not. No, no, she served royalty, class, and elegance. It was this. It was this koi fish that had. It was this white koi fish with long, flowy oh, fins, gorgeous. and it was it was gorgeous. And I was like, oh, is this? And I was like, oh, it's not. Oh. Uh, so I'm still figuring it out. My take, because I've tr- I've asked Courtney has tried to describe it to me. Yeah, a bunch. Shane, give us your hot take on what so you think here's serving the, is. Here's the definition of serving bunt cake. Um, uh, it is a like borderline like you're exuding a confidence that is perhaps almost offensive to some but you don't care like it's it is you do, mm. like i don't know it's it's in it's yeah you're cl- you're very close Can and you have my hot take yeah please so at vidcon tommy said that i was <laughs> Um, I had this really wild jumper that was like all the way buttoned up and it was blue and it had like these big uh, ruffle sleeves on the and then shoulders yes, too. and then like squiggly lines and patterns. And but it was like, it was like snatched and then it at was the same time. snatched at the waist. Mm-hmm. And he said I was uh, serving clunt, serving clunt, which clown is coat? clown <laughs> coat. <laughs> and I, Loved that because it was really the first time anyone had ever said that to me with, you know, the clown part in it. And I felt so seen in that moment because I'm like, (laughs) maybe that is just me. Maybe maybe not even just in that moment. Maybe that's just me at my best. And so my hot take of serving is it's kind of like when you tap into this part of yourself that's like, yes. And you don't give a – you don't give a shite who – who cares what people are saying about you as long as you are feeling yourself and being like, this is 100% me and I know I look good. To me, that is serving. That, that I, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. That's what it seems to be. It seems to be like 100% confident. Yeah. And it's it's exaggerated and it's, it's borderline over the top. Well, it can be, yeah, yeah. So what is your definition of serving bunt cake? So a... Uh, uh, Fun part of this journey of this uh, little little show is uh, everyone's got their own take on it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of like kind of like the word like awesome. It's like anything can be awesome or kind of awesome. But or, if you're in Boston, awesome is awesome. the word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wicked awesome. Wicked awesome. <laughs> or if you're guys. in the UK or Australia, and they're just saying it all the time. <laughs> uh, you're both hitting on like the, the 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 piece of it that's that's important, and it's that like unabashedness. It's that like, it's like damn, you, you, you just commit to yourself, and it's 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 also like, you have your own sense of mm-hmm. bunt cake. It's you, like like you have your own version of serving, mm-hmm. oh. and you have your own version of serving. Oh. Everyone has because it's like it's you. You serve. Oh. You know what I mean? It's not like, it's not a, a, a fashion. It's not a fashion thing. It's, it's like not a term you, that's you can, universal that works for everyone. Exactly. Got it. It's 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 how you exude your own self. It's a it's a power. It's an energy. It also it, seems uh, to be like very much a choice. That yes. Someone has to make. It's not yes. nobody like. It's not based in your actual looks. It's right. not. There's no. no. It's nope. it's no. This person is actively making this decision. Right. In this moment, and with how they started their day, it's how you're so showing up to work. If there is serving bunt cake, it sounds like there's a lot of other servings. Oh yeah, like the koi fish served like elegance, royalty, like like gla- like a glamour matron. Like wow, everybody's gorge. always serving something, right? Right. Like it's it's like I I'm serving uncle right now. <laughs> really, I was gonna say daddy. Hmm. Okay, he, the I uncle could say, have a kid. I was gonna say office daddy. I would Aww. say I would say Amanda is serving uh, Boston Light right now. <laughs> Be light. Boston Light. Like it's not like over the light. top. It's not over the top, but you're. It's there's some there's some Boston ish <laughs> vibes going on here. The hoop earrings, the 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 denim. That's true. Uh, lined jacket. and boots and boots. Like wow. you're you look like you're uh, East Coast. Okay, right I now. will take that. I don't feel it's a bad thing. <laughs> Boston <laughs> Light. No, I think that's great. Boston Light, also kind of 80s. Yeah. The big bangs. <laughs> well, I kind of feel, this kind of also feels like when forever ago, Noah told me that I'm the human version of an acoustic guitar. And I was like, that's all right, right. Oh, Wait, I get that's that. the cutest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. That's actually I was like, I get it. pretty legit. You call yeah. me an umbrella that wishes he was a real boy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Noah's got it. Okay. Um, you're- Some of the pros <laughs> over the years. 
To me, you're serving outdoor seating at a decently nice cocktail bar. <laughs> oh, okay. daytime. Daytime Austin seating. Light. <laughs> Austin Light. I love that. Like, <laughs> and what what is Shane serving right now? He's wearing a, a T-shirt, a chain, and a jean jacket. Actually, a, Shane and I look pretty similar we're right now. very similar right now. I'm but, wearing a Broncos different. T-shirt, jeans, denim jacket. I'm wearing a pumpkin spice colored shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're serving sedan. Sedan? <gasps> I think so. Yes, what year sedan. sedan? Oh, it's a good like 2008. Oh, Oh, a little yeah. beat up, cool. Okay. No, 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 it's it's, no, it's okay, well okay. kept. It's well kept. Okay. So we it's all, a classic. You know yeah. what I mean? We all know what we're serving. So when people come on your show, yeah, like what's what do you do? You guys figure out if something's serving together? Yeah, it's it's kind of different per episode, which is why it's a blast. Is because each person that comes on has their own idea of what serving is. Uh, they read the brief that I gave them, but we filmed all of the episodes in one day, which is why I'm wearing the same outfit the whole time. <laughs> I had a bunch of different outfits planned, and I was like, I can't do this. No, I'm gonna no. be in the same outfit the whole. I like, I can't be changing. Yes, um, but I did change my bandana in every episode. Very okay. good, yeah, very good. It's a smart thing to do. Yeah, that was the the tail end of my bandana. When era. you when you film future <gasps> episodes, are you gonna wear the same outfit now? No, it'll be a different outfit uh, if I if I do another season or tech. The plan right now is to do a season one part two and. Then then do like an all stars and then an all winners and then have that be like the package. And then if I want to do another, if I want to do that, I'll wear the same thing probably. Right. Uh, but if I want to do another season, it'll be a different outfit. Got it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you bring them on and you yeah. kind of, and they get their own idea of serving. Right. And, and so mm -hmm. what, I mean, what you see in the show is what happens for the most part. Yeah. Um, Although the way we film it is we do all of the serving stuff first and then we do the games last. So how the show works is you come in, there's the intro, we dive right in and we decide uh, out of five pictures which one is serving the most. Uh, and then we take that one and they go to the finals. Then we play a game, a little stupid game. Love it. And then uh, we do it again for round two. So that's the second finalist, another game. Then there's the third finalist. Then we go into the finals and we eliminate one of them, which is dramatic. <gasps> Very dramatic. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh huh. And they're eliminated with a whip sound, and they get uh, ripped in half. Oh my um, it's, god! It's very, it's very fun. Uh, and then we uh, choose a winner, and then that's the end of the episode. It's I, very, it's very fun. Twenty it's, minutes. It's great. I, I have to admit, I've I think I've watched every episode, or yeah, I, yeah. I, I've watched most of the episodes. Um, and I remember watching the one with Angela, and I think it was fish. <laughs> was it? Uh -huh. Did you guys do fish, or was it? I uh, did fish with Rachel. Rachel. No, what was the? There's one. There was one Pasta? with. Was it pasta? Was it? I think it was lamps. There was one Angela that I had lamps. Yeah. I remember there was one where I, I, I. It hit a point where I'm like, okay, I'm learning what this is. And then there's sometimes where I'm like, I, I absolutely disagree. Yeah, I disagree Ooh, with your decision. Show. Do you on ever? This. Do you ever um, read like the comments and kind of debate on? seeing different sides of it? Absolutely I do. I love that. I, that's the point of this, like me, when I wanted to do this show, I was like, okay, I moved to LA to like, you know, do comedy. And it's like, great, I'm here. I'm, you know, doing comedy. I, yeah. I check marked my thing. Doing right? comedy. Right, ding, ding. Um, and so I kind of, I've been like knocking at windows, walking into walls, just like boom, boom. And finally I'm like, okay, I'm on a YouTube channel. People know me from YouTube now. Like that's what the thing is. So I'll just do a YouTube show. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, what what in this crazy ass world we're in right now, what is a good YouTube show? Something that's like escapist and like fun and light and like not really, no, not a lot of brain juice happening. Right. Sure. And people love Drag Race. And I was like, okay, well what could, what could I do that's like in that same realm? And then I was like on Twitter one day and there was just, it was, a, a, it was about Megan. The, the oh, horror yeah, the movie. Megan? Yeah, I remember, yeah, 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 I remember you talking to me about, about that months ago. You I were love, like, oh, yeah, everyone I online Megan. saying that she serves. Oh, that, that, I, was yeah. like, I was like, what? She absolutely serves bun cake. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my God. Right. I was like, yeah. she's so cool. Just does not, <laughs> exactly. Does, does not give care. a shit. Yes. So cool. Does not care. And so I was just like, that's a fun phrase like that. And, and, and I, that's a phrase that's been around in like gay culture starts with, and, and, and all gay phrases and gay culture start with, you know, a black trans queer LGBT people. And then it gets passed forward until we're talking about it on a show. Look um, at us. But that's how it always, that's just, that's how it goes. Um, and so I was like, damn, that's a great 
idea. And so I just started like, when I was like with friends, I would just be like at a bar and they would have little like tincture bottles for like uh, uh, bitters. Yeah, and I'd yeah, be yeah. like, I'd be like, okay, 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 okay. Everyone come here. Look at these bottles. Which one is serving? Oh. And then we'd like start doing that. And then I'm like, this is a blast. The one that looks I like know, the genie lamp. Fun. The it's genie always... lamp, the bitters that look like a genie lamp is always serving. I, I catch myself too nowadays. Now having, having watched your show, mm -hmm. I catch myself kind of just like I sometimes find myself interpreting it and mm -hmm. like, does that? Yes. I can't imagine I Shane pulling up to a bar and going like, hello, sir, your bitters bottle is serving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, I'll have a Manhattan. Uh, me, uh, nothing. It's not offensive for me to say that your Ford F-150 <laughs> is serving. serving oh. shit, man. Uh, I just want you to know that. Uh, um, uh, no, I'm a big fan. Hey, and, thanks. Um, I appreciate uh, it has me also thinking constantly. Uh, we talked about our vibe right mm. now. Yeah. But you at one point then at VidCon did serve. Oh, absolutely. A little bit. Yeah, I served. I served clown. Oh. And I was clunty. And I remember when you gave that to me, I was like, oh. To me, it's so fun to get to to have like a word for something that I'm feeling, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because I was feeling a little bit like, Ooh, I don't know if I should be doing this. Like when I put on that jumper, I was like, I don't know. This feels a little like dangerous, like a little faux mm -hmm. pas. Like, I don't it's, know. It, it makes it, if you don't have the confidence, you're scared. You're scared. And, you're and you're it doesn't work. And it doesn't work. But if you do, if you're like, yep, yes. Yeah, I'm wearing this. Then people are like, oh. And I felt so I felt so good at VidCon wearing that and also around your presence. Cause I feel like you and me are attached to the hip at VidCon always. Nice. You're my husband at VidCon. <laughs> my so many, wonderful uh, gay husband. Drinking Aperol <laughs> spritzes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, do you think that's, do you think there's ever been a time in your life where you served more Helen Hunt than, than that? <laughs> Helen Hunt. <laughs> I was like Helen Hunt. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> my brain went to a weird place. Do you so. think that was your peak confidence, like your most badass? I think my wedding day was pretty serving. Really? Well, that's yeah. a good day to and, do it. And what's crazy is I went for a dress, and I'll soon share the pictures online. But I went for a dress that is a little bit out of, out of my comfort zone, but okay. also is very much serving. Bless you. Just doesn't, it just doesn't have a bottom. You're completely it has nude no from the bottom. Waistband. It just has um, two nipple stars right here, Aww. and that's it. And just two veils. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked down the aisle with my dad. <laughs> and I was like, bye, dad. Thanks for getting me LA. <laughs> bye, dad. I promise you'll meet him soon. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> This is me as a bride if I stayed in Boston. Mm. Um, no, my dress was like really low cut, like all the way down to here. Wow. And it was just all lace in the back. Ooh. And it was and it was like cinched and snatched and it was so beautiful, but also so beautiful, slightly a little bit traditional too, but romantic and like nice. fairy-like. And I felt like I was serving that day. And then some days I'll come into Smosh and be like, I feel like I look pretty good. And then like people will be like, oh, I love your outfit. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah, no worries. And inside I'm like, yes, F yes. Cause it feels good. Wow. Like if I'm yeah. wearing an outfit that I like, I feel good the whole day. No, and I feel like I can tell now, nowadays when I'm just like, oh, that person, they're at a hundred percent. They're at a hundred. They're, at, they're mm -hmm. going for it and there's nothing that's gonna stop them. I think my hot take is I don't think I ever have. That is so is, not true. I don't think I, that can't I, be true. No, but not, by definition. No, I mean, I don't mean like I've never had days where I, I feel good or look good. I just mean like that specific vibe, mm. you know? And I mean, uh, I, I not even that I haven't tried at some points in my life. I just feel like I, I've I don't seen know. you at work before in these outfits, and I'm like, when you, is it, but is it serving or is it more? Is it a different vibe? Because like like we talk about. The let's ask. Thing. Let's ask the the uh, professional. Yeah, yeah. Tommy, what do you the, think? The inventor of serving yeah, fun cake. Yeah, I'm less of a I'm less of a professional and more of like the Jane Goodall of serving. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like I've had a lot of experience, but like there's still more to learn. So serving's you know? just Bear. a bunch of gorillas and you're Jane Goodall. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you're on the poster being like, she hasn't aged a day, swear to God. Okay, keep going. Okay. It's because she started old. <laughs> she started old it. and she just had it's old It's the Betty White to. thing. It's like, oh, you never aged. It's like, no, she just was old at 40. 
<laughs> and that's what I'm gonna like do. Helen Mirren. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, oh no, I, you definitely have. Uh, you also are like you're like a humble, confident person. You're, you're not walking around like I'm the f-ing yeah sh- shot guy. I feel like serving Helen Hunt is very um, like almost like you're on a runway, right. but. There's but if no you de- but if you demand attention, you then lose. You then you lose. Then you lose your yeah, because you're, you're not desperate. Ask, right, desperation Correct. is is out. No. You just people see you and go, wow, it looks like she's is, on a runway, but she, you don't know it. Mm-hmm. Is it an arrogance? Is there arrogance involved in this? N- no, because as soon as there's like that like negativity involved, you yes. know, uh, then it gets like ugh. out. But, but if. It, it's like arrogance without me putting it on you. People of. have to be you know? in. It's, yes. it's more people. You want people to be in awe of you. Yes. Uh huh. And you'd like. So you're not. You're not seeking that. No. 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 You're doing it for yourself. It yes. feels very self That's fulfilled. True. That's true. It feels very like you're. It's like a divine embodiment. Yeah. It's like I'm embodying divinity. Yeah, and you it, suck the air. Hello. Out of it feels it. like it feels like too that it's it, a person who's who's serving. It can they can be sexy and attractive, but it doesn't feel like it's about that. No, it's it's, it's more of an ethereal thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more a vibe. Of like it's it's yeah. a vibe. It's a vibe. Um, I want to really quick. Uh, you said that you come into Smosh sometimes wearing like an outfit, and you like you're feeling great, and then people are like, "Oh my god, I love your outfit." Yeah. Uh, I just got this really nice, and you've I think everyone's seen it. Uh, this really nice trench. Uh, oh this trench oh coat yeah, with the yeah, shoulder yeah. Pads. Serving. Um, and I, and I was a very very London look, uh, and I came in, <laughs> and everyone and <laughs> and this, 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 some of the editors were in the kitchen. They all went, "Whoa, uh, what are you on the case?" <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, they're like, why are you doing that? What? And I'm like, okay, I was like, all right. I'm so glad we're talking about this because this is the biggest issue with serving. Is there is a there's a group of people who just are blind to it. No, they don't I, see it. In fact, they feel so uncomfortable in the serving that they make you feel like shit. Because I swear to God, if I was wearing that jacket, the same thing would happen to me. <laughs> like, what are you on the like, case? What are you yeah. doing? My sisters would do that. Except my sisters would do it in a very loving way. But oh. my little sister would probably do that. She'd be like. Uh, are you on the case, Sherlock? Like, where is the fucking murderer? I, I love when people dress like when they go for it. And I also like when people dress really nice, even for no occasion. I'm like, that's badass. Unless it's a ball gown at work. Or like a tuxedo, you know? I, but yeah. at yeah. here, like, oh, no. at, <laughs> at Smosh, it's like, can you really dress that weird? Like, we're, we're yeah. always dressed crazy for yeah. something. We got, we got pajama people. We can do whatever we want we got, here. We got I, suit I can't jacket people. Pajama said, people. I can't believe they said that. What was your, so what is your response when you know you're serving and you get a response that like shoots it down? You oh, I, I, I went, okay. I was like, sure, yeah. Uh-huh. In a way that I was just like, you know, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I get that I showed up today. Yeah, but like, don't. Or, or you could be like, I'm about to solve the case, and if you I guys, I did that. I was just like, okay, yeah, let okay. me get my magnifying glass. Let out. me oh, solve the case. I, go go I, gadget. I, oh, I am, I am about to solve the case of your piss poor attitude. <laughs> yeah, and then they yes. shut up and they left. Yes, they went home. They left work. Mm-hmm. And now we're behind on our shoot schedule. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now we can't edit anything. Mm-hmm. It sucks. So I have a question. Can you call your, can you tell your, can you say out loud that you're serving? Or is that, that, you that, yourself would, that defeat, are? would yes. that defeat the purpose? Or would that defeat the purpose? I feel like this is like up for debate, but I think if you are telling yourself that you are serving, oh. you then like destiny yourself to serve more. Oh. Whoa! Like, I'm serving. Oh. Then it's like, you're right. I am. Oh, I'm right. Yeah. I am. So yourself manifest but, it. Yeah. But telling others, like, good morning, guys. Can you guys see that I'm serving? Then you're not correct. No way. Yep. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's the arrogance. Go I'm solve like, the case. I'm like, how dare you? How dare Tommy, you? Tommy, do you have a time in your life where you think you served the most? <sighs> or times recently where you're like, yep, I was on it. I was there. I that jacket was definitely one. I see I, yeah I mean that trench s- slayed absolutely but I don't know if I have like a specific memory in mind where I where I like truly did I will say the the that shoot day when we shot the show it was one of those things where it's like 
you know, you put in a month's work of pre-production and planning and finding the pictures and making up the games and hiring people and scheduling it and, you know, people dropped out and hiring, you know, finding new talent to be on the thing. And so it's like all of that work. And then it's like, I'm gonna put on my little black vest and my little bandana and my hair looked perfect. <laughs> and then it was like, all right, PA, let's get the, and I was just like, oh, I'm running a production. Yes. Yeah. And I look like this. So <gasps> probably on that day I was was I was serving. Oh. Except for uh, I think like maybe after lunch I was like, <sighs> all right, we got we got, okay. three, we got three more of these. All right, I'm okay. serving. Okay. I'm yeah. serving exhausted. Uh, I will say uh, a moment where I don't think I was, but I think everyone else was for the most part. Uh, the promo for Anthony's funeral. Oh, and um, we are recording everyone this. Was we, are, we are also recording this episode before shooting the live show, but right. this episode is going to air after. Yep, the live show and the promo's so already out. We'll see how what we served mm -hmm. on the live show, which mm -hmm. you can still probably go see uh, the vod of, but. Um, I know at least that in the promo, I thought everyone was like, uh, "Oh, you, Amanda? yeah." I think I think Gorgeous. I think Amanda. That was that was definitely wow stunned. I think you wow. were stunned. Wow, really there. I think Ian said he didn't recognize me, and I was like, "Does that mean I look like absolute poop poop every day, other no, day?" No, I didn't recognize Ian. He was giving father, and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, how that when happened? that when that tablecloth <gasps> oh comes my God. down and he's yeah. like this." He goes, Oh. No, that I'm was like, pretty intense. I'm like, oh, put it away. I, I was like, why am Go I? Go away, Ian. I'm like, a tr like yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh? Uh -huh. No, uh, it was the first the time. The booger guy? I don't know. <laughs> I, told, I told Courtney this, but I was like, that's the first time Smosh has ever done something where I'm like, we looked cool. Yes. I, and I was like, that's weird. Because we've done, we've done big promos before, but we're always silly. Yeah, we're always we're dumb. Always like kinda, it's, our content was always making us look stupid. And that was what we went for. But this was the first time where it's, Courtney was determined to make us look really good. And yeah. Like, Damn, this which is, is so weird. Which is, Courtney is literally serving all the time, in my opinion. Yeah. So I am so glad that she was the director of this promo because... I think it's so good for Smosh to be seen as serving once in a while because it's mm -hmm. like, it's like when you watch a show, you're like, okay, this is fun. There's a crime. There's silliness. Where's the sex, man? Like we need a little bit of that like, like edge. Yeah, Jadoom. and it was it was fun to see us all in that while playing characters that seemed like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, I think my character is me. Your character is you. <laughs> I'm the only it's one that is me. It's a different version of you, though. Right. It's a darker version of you. It's like. <laughs> is it darker? It's a living in the shadows oh, version. Tommy. It's almost like you haven't slept in days version of uh, you. Oh, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just actually you. Well, you covered it up pretty well. Hey, thanks. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, so. Um, us. Oh. Us. <laughs> okay, so us. So, okay, so you go, us. You go, you go, you go. You go. Uh, you go. <laughs> no, no, you go. <laughs> See, I still, thinking back, I just feel like. I didn't think I served as the chosen in that. I think it was like a different vibe, though. I think I looked. I think it was, it was cool. You were serving something. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm, what I'm saying overall, even going back to myself, is I'm not saying I'm not serving anything. I just feel like I'm not s serving specifically bunt uh, bunt cake. There's and I, I guess, dare I say, is this an? A, I don't know if this is a wild opinion, but how, like. How often are like cis straight dudes like myself serving? I feel like it's just often not our it's, our vibe. I would say it's a rarer. Yeah, thing. Uh, I think more experimental like clothing styles usually like open Boost. the door. Well, like to just, doing something like Timothy Chalamet maybe sometimes does, or uh, is that is that uh, he? He gives off like uh, like uh, uh, one of those uh, little pencils you use at the lottery stand. <laughs> so it's like so it's like it's I don't know if like there's no like power in that. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what about fair. Harry Styles? Oh, Harry Styles, yeah. I, I I'm sure we could find somewhere where he served. Oh, but like I I he's trying a little too hard. Is that what um, you're thinking? Sometimes I'm like, okay, good for you. But <laughs> there's so oh. many times. <laughs> you know who I bet is at some point is uh, maybe I'm wrong on this. Willem Dafoe. Honestly, probably. Honestly, uh, I feel like that guy. That guy doesn't give a shit. Like honestly, I'm not kidding. 
Him in moments as Green Goblin in the Spider-Man movie. Kind of. Oh, is yeah. Like, there's so moments. Oh, he's just so like, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself. You're like, you're, like, <laughs> yeah. okay, you're doing it, man. He's absolutely serving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that's that's a good indicator yeah. of it. That's, that's it, a great. Is there like like a top person out in this world on yeah. the internet is, that you think is serving? The king or queen of. Queen of, of oh, I, uh, it's, it feels like a. Other like than a, RuPaul. Uh, RuPaul doesn't serve oh. that much. Sometimes, Whoa. sometimes, that sometimes. Well, I mean, it depends on the runway. Sometimes, okay. sometimes it's mom. Sometimes it's mother. Sometimes it's oh. mother. It kind of it's very mother. It, it's usually like how much leg do you got going on? Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> my it feels like a cop out, but I think Tilda Swinton serves oh. all the time. One hundred. That is not a cop out. One hundred percent. It's just, I mean, I even like mentioned it in like in the show at one point. It's just so. Hilda is 100% serving because yeah. she is unapologetically completely herself. She has such a unique look, but it's not even her look. No. Swear to God, she could, like, what was it, 300 years of longing? She, she dresses kind of like an old, frumpier woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're still serving. Yeah. It's just something she has this, about like, her. She this air of art and like power and like timelessness to her that's yes. so cool. Yes, it's just yeah. unique and yeah. yeah. Yeah, and she looks like a like a throwing star as a person. <laughs> what is a throwing star? You know, like a little ninja no, throwing, ninja star. throwing oh. star. Oh my God. <laughs> throwing star was a person. To me, she looks like a vase, like, like, a, like a marble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a marble vase that has like little like like um, <laughs> iridescent vibes to it, mm, where little, you're just like pearly chips. Yeah, pearly mm. chips. Pearly chips. <laughs> She's a pearly chip. Mm, and hungry. And yeah. hungry. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, I really yeah. respect that. Damn. Okay. Do you have a a, a white cis someone? male in your mind that you think is serving? I mean, I on I, the internet. I, I'm I'm guessing I don't really know. Willem Dafoe was probably my my, okay. my number one. I, and I would say like. Uh, when I think of it, I just think of like who's the, who are the most confident people who are themselves. And honestly, like uh, another one that comes to my mind is like Danny DeVito. I'm gonna, uh, but I'm also <laughs> I not kidding. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm not kidding though. I can't. I can't. I, don't know I can't. I can't. See, I am still learning. <laughs> I am still You're, learning. I 100% have are thought this Googling? from the day. Monica Bellucci. Don't know who that is. Oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking Googling about. Her. Okay, that's just a picture of a woman. Yeah, it's a woman. Monica Bellucci. Okay, I, I get that. I don't know if I know her from things. What? What? What, what movies is she? She's now with Tim Burton. Oh well, that's okay. which that's... is so interesting. She's been in the Matrix. She's been in, She's um, been in Matrix? Spectre. Matrix? Four. Matrix Reloaded. Okay. That would be my. Oh, oh, oh. She's female. the. She's the. My husband doesn't touch me, but if you kiss me in the bathroom. Correct. Uh, Neo to Neo. Oh, yes, correct, okay. correct, correct. Yeah, she's kind of serving in that. I also think that uh, uh, Trinity is always serving. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. In oh, the Matrix. okay. Oh. What about what about Neo in the Matrix? Honestly, kind of, yeah. Mm. Well, like later on. L like later at the on. end, of the, end of, the end of the first Matrix when he like flies away. Morpheus is serving. Is he? Oh. In that jack, uh, Matrix One, the first. It, when he when in he that calls. jacket when he's just. When, and when he calls him, he's just telling him what to do. He's like, "Yeah, but Mor I feel like Morpheus serves the most when he's on top of that big truck with like the the swords, the sword fight. M yeah. uh, Matrix two. Oh, two, two, two. Matrix yeah. two. We got the two uh, like squiggly ghost people. The twins. Yes, yes, yes. All right, the twins. And then like he's on top of the thing, and he's like, <sighs> he's got his little glasses. Oh, okay. So cool. So, yeah. so okay, how do we how do we serve better? The science is 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 not in yet. We're still learning okay. in science, but uh, what do you what What do you think holds you back most yeah, days? Yeah, well, my mind because you have that. You, you, you've acknowledged that some days you are super confident. Honestly, as a female, some days I wake up feeling like I am like feeling good, and then some days I wake up feeling like I got hit by a truck, and I'm just like, Ugh, and nothing fits. Mm -hmm. I mean, I relate to that. Some days also I'm like, oh, that. everything feels good. I feel light, and some days it's like. My, how did we get here? How did <laughs> what happened to me? What I like come up, especially with bangs. Ooh, <coughs> bangs are tough. In the morning, you like put your hair through your bangs, and it's like up, and you're just like, I look like a woman from the '80s, and I live like in a park, and I'm just like, my son's out back. Like it's sometimes I'm just like, who am I? You you've universal. been really. They've been they've been slowly. Your bangs are banging. My bangs are coming back. They're yeah. yeah. I, I'm, it's, I'm growing them out though. 
How oh. are you gonna keep growing them out forever? Yeah, I'm gonna grow them out forever. Uh, I, long, I really long in the front and short. Yeah, in the back. really long in the front, and then I'm gonna do the Boston haircut where I shave the whole back up to here. Oh, that's and then awesome. I just keep this long. Awesome. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> that's really you know that's really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Serving. <laughs> I I saw a photo recently of of you from like I don't know a year or so ago where I was like, damn, your bangs were at one point super short. On my my wedding like photos, I, my 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 roast of you having the haircut of a thirteenth century crusader actually was very accurate. Yeah. yeah, my my wedding photos were micro bangs, and I remember, and I loved them, and I still love them, and I've been like having those nights where I'm like, I'm just gonna cut them. But my mom, I remember before I got married, she was like, "Are you gonna keep the bangs for your wedding?" <laughs> and I was like, "Mother, your mom was gonna shave them off." I was like, what "No, I'm gonna let them grow out in one week." Huh? And I, I, th- I think my in that bangs. I think in that moment your mom was serving. <laughs> Sir, yeah, she was definitely serving. Oh, I think. <laughs> in the in the in the, in the way uh, in that way in the way that Instagram <laughs> takes down my posts about it. Not in that way, please. Um, she was serving. Yeah, can serving be in a word, or is it all? Is it more of a vibe? look? Is it is it more look or is it more attitude? Uh, it's more attitude than it is the look. The look okay. is definitely part of it. When you say a word, do you mean like if we looked at a, the word, a wor- the word sentence, and we were like, "Is the word sentence Ooh, serving?" Yeah, is that what you're saying? Sure. That's like a big brain stretch, but we could. That's we a, could. That's we could, intense. We could stretch the imagination. Yeah, there. I wasn't saying that. We're gonna but get I, to I was that thinking, episode eventually. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. So okay. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of who we know also, because like I don't think I okay, who who if you had to vote. Like who out of people you know who work here at Smosh, who would you say maybe serves the most? Courtney, Ooh. hands down. Really? Well, I, Courtney's gonna freak out. I to completely hear that. agree, one hundred percent. She's always serving. There's always a. F- they've always got a fit going on. Hair done, even when it's just like a scraggly time. It's just like Courtney's so Courtney, you know? See, yes. I, and that's I, like part of it. Completely. I'm not gonna disagree with it, but I I think the the name that comes to my head is Chance. Cause I just feel like Chance is just always so confident. Mm. Chance, Chance is one of the most confident people I've ever. Absolutely. Met. But I also I. That's tough. Don't know if that's enough. That's tough. I feel like. I don't know. That's really hard. That is interesting, though. Hmm. Courtney's gonna freak out. Okay, yeah. so so both of them are kind of up there. I yeah. do feel like Olivia. Is serving, sometimes like like I feel like she. She's usually serving, but sometimes she, when she's like coming in late and getting ready, <laughs> she's she's on her way to serving. I feel mm. like she naturally is serving, though, yeah. court, uh, Olivia. Mm. Who of the dudes in this office uh, do you think? Because like, let's see, there's there's like <gasps> Alex, me. Alex and Games. It's Alex. Alex it's and Alex. Games is serving. Yeah. A yeah. man that can tuck his sweater into his pants. I am. Uh, in. I am. I am impressed by Alex's ability to tuck full-on sweaters <laughs> yeah. into his pants, and, and it, it doesn't, doesn't matter it how doesn't much look, fabric. It doesn't it look does bad. Doesn't you matter. It works. It fabric. He looks amazing. His earrings are always unique and different, and his hair is beautiful. It's that effort you put into yourself before you go outside that you're that like adds to yep. it also. Yeah. See, serving oh. like it's kind of like a smoothie. There's like a lot of pieces to it. Got a, okay. fa- got a lot of factors. It's not ever just one thing. Hmm. It's the accumulation <laughs> of, wow, I had something in my eye, sorry. It's the accumulation of a bunch of different factors that all together give you this this power. I love it. Mm. So so if, if, if there's serving, oh. there's other things. What What are other things that Shane and I could be serving? Not just today, but in general. Like if you thought of us in your mind, what is Amanda serving? You're you uh, you know you'll hate this. <laughs> you'll hate it. No, I won't. But you you are you have a uh, uh, supportive energy and very like comfortable. Mm. Uh, but you're also like a little haughty, and so mm. there's this like there's this like. Like ant, young, ant, young, hot ant vibes. See, I told you you'd hate it. Than, uh, I told you you'd hate it. Amanda, you constantly complain about being like, oh, I'm like a mother. I don't want to be like. But a mom. mother is fine. Mom is. Yeah, you're not mom. You're not mommy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I think that this is great. I like to know because no, I am you... comforting. Someone the other day <laughs> said that I give off top energy. Yeah, that I'm like a top. Do you yeah. know what I mean by that, Shane? 
He's learned. He, he's I, we, okay. I know very I'm like well top from energy. our fans. I'm like top energy, and I yeah. I kind of love that. And I told my husband that I'm like, babe, I'm like top energy. He's like, that's why I married you. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and that's the one sit thing, out. And that's the one thing you <laughs> you're said like, no, do week. the dishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I slapped him so hard across the face. <laughs> Like, His head went through the door. Thanks. People, Thanks. our fans love to call me Shane Bottom. <gasps> How do you feel oh, about that? Shane. I don't care. I, I think it's funny. Um, uh, I am completely unbothered by it, um, truly. And um, yeah, no, it, it's I. I think. Any Why are you crying are right now? I, I Why are you tearing up? It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Be it fine. doesn't matter to me. Okay, um, so if I'm top and Shane's bottom, what else is Shane? <laughs> I'm mommy, auntie, comforting, hottie. I heard uh -huh. that. Top, top, auntie, hottie, like, yeah, mother. Love, love. Let us know in the comments, Those too. Those are really good. Uh -huh. What, what other that. nouns or adjectives? I feel like it's always nouns. When you're saying you serve, it's a noun. Yeah. yeah. Also, Never use an adjective. Also, auntie is cool. Auntie's the type of person that picks you up from the party and is like, you're I like won't tell your mom. You're like, sit stoked down. to see. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, that's great. Like, is okay if you get into some trouble? Might get into some trouble. Yeah. With you. But then also, I have, a, I definitely have mommy. I definitely have some mommy vibes too. But like, good, like, mm, mommy. Mommy. Not like, <laughs> <laughs> not like, mommy. Honey. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> honey. Honey, mommy, please. <laughs> okay, so then what is Shane? We already know he's bottom. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> he doesn't give off father energy to me. No. Yeah, he, people don't. People can't make a decision. I would that. say he gives off more uncle, but then not. No, no. It's it's uh it's it's the the vibe is is his cousin energy is, one is sexless in an okay way. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what? No, it's like, like <laughs> what? Tommy, continue. <laughs> Not that you don't have. I'm, I'm sure you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, but it's like that's not what you're like. You're not. You're not like I'm trying to be sexy or I'm trying to be like a hottie. Mm -hmm. Right, it's... I'm not trying. <laughs> no, keep going. <laughs> I had mine. You keep going. Uh huh. Um, let's see. What do you serve? It's like. That's what I mean. It's like it's not. It's not like it's not like father. It's not top. It's not bottom. It's hometown. Like that's, not, that's not what he serves. Hometown. <laughs> Is that a thing? You serve. You serve like best friend. Like 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 buddy. Like like okay. confidant. Like like. Yeah. Yeah. Sedan. Yes, sedan. Yeah. It'll get you I'm there. It might Honda run out of gas Accord. once in a while. But it's gonna get you there. I'm Dependable. serving Corolla right now. <laughs> no. Like, Toyota Corolla. No, sedan is way cooler. Dependable, like. Awesome, well known go to. Like, like a rock. Like you a rock. You know that commercial? Like a rock. I probably can't sing it here. Yeah, you can probably get away with that. Just okay. that. Maybe. It's the truck commercial. Mm -hmm. okay. I also feel I respect it. I also feel like hometown boy vibes. Like yeah. Just, like I mean, that like that guy yeah. who's, yeah, who's I mean, in that's your hometown. Just Shane, Shane in general. That's just Shane in general. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those are really good vibes. They're good vibes. Yeah, no, sexless is great. Uh, that's <laughs> I did absolutely not, what you I did hear. not say sexless. <laughs> Amanda didn't sign off on that. Um, I didn't sign off on sexless. And I, I further explained what I meant. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, no, I didn't for mean, sure. No, I, I think all you it. said was I, no I think, it's, I think it's really awesome. Tommy, you're serving huge loser <laughs> uh <-huh>. idiot. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, oh, can, can we do can we do Tommy serving? I, okay, I please, think I have an please. idea. I think I have yeah, a thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah. With the, now without the glasses, it's different. With the glasses, you had glasses on. I think you're serving scientist. Like, I was gonna say sexy scientist. I'm not seeing scientist. I'm seeing scholar. I'm seeing like we need to decipher something. Like the, an, an ancient presence is known. I know an expert who might be able to help you're, us out. You're serving. You're serving. Um, university. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're serving university. Like boy in the shadows. Like the guy who's like, have boy you been? Shadows. Have you been in this house yet? Watch, let me show you. You you're okay. serving like um senior talking to freshmen. Let me show you the ropes vibes. No, no, no. nope, like <laughs> no. I see like assistant no. professor, like a like he's new to the university. The ones that has to grade all the papers. See, yeah. I see the guy who's on the side who has a cigarette and is smoking it and is like, Hey, do you know about the house on the hill? Come with me. <laughs> guy in the shadows at the university I who's don't know just if like I see that. Okay, okay, okay. I see it sometimes. Now without the glasses, it's very different. Okay. Um, hmm. Stupid little boy. Not at all. 
Not at nothing. all. Nothing. There's nothing so you're, here. You're giving nothing. No, no, no. I can't even nothing see you right now. All. Um, I don't know. It's don't know. it's hard. Also, you're hard. giving you're giving like. First of all, to me, you're always giving like. 80s like funky like like quirky vibes cool, cool, but cool. also um valid victorian a little bit university but then yeah. also boy in the shadow see you're giving me a lot of different things but this is hard because i know you yeah that's it true. is hard i know your I personality know you. so i guess just by your looks it's tough but what i uh, what it makes me think about is yeah it's hard for me to say specifically right now but compared to when i first met you years ago back when we were working at defy mm -hmm. i feel like you have so much more confidence now than back yes. then Thanks. that it is crazy. Like I compare you now to then, and I'm like, well, whatever it is, you're 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 serving far more of it now than well, back then. Great. Yeah. Thank back God then you served only anxiety. That's uh, right. And I remember, <laughs> you, I, I know that because you would say it. You oh, would yeah. say how anxious like, you were. I I'm not well. <laughs> 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 you literally, that, uh -huh. you would say uh, something like that. So yeah, you're serving, you're serving less anxiety, more like, Mm -hmm. Um, what is what is this? Not royal, but like, hmm, mm. like, like a like a prissy confidence, regal. Uh, uh, not regal. Just successful. you're serving like um, professional top of your class. Oh, valedictorian. Yeah, valedictorian. What I actually that I did say that you're serving very you're serving very university, very val val valedictorian, very um in the know, very big brain. Very big brain. You're serving like a little bit of like queenie, like a little okay. queenie energy, like a little like. Hmm. Is it mean here? though? Is it mean? No, it's more like in the know. Okay. Like you're in the know. You have I told you you're the boy in the shadows the who's just like, no. you know about this, you know about this place, you know what's going on here. Well, mm. I know. Come with me. Okay. More like that. I'll take it. That's what I think. I've got a question. I've got an who's, answer. Who's who's. Who's got a better? Who's got? Who's got a more confident vibe? Who's serving more of the two, Ian or Anthony? Oh, I think that's tough. I think serving that's, Hunt. Serving Helen Hunt. Um, I feel like that's tough. It's tough. I feel like it's tougher than people think because I think people are going to just initially go Anthony. But knowing them, I don't know. I think it's really hard, and it's different in every scenario. Ian's also like very much lately been more like confident and happy with himself and like did a wardrobe shift and like he's got like a different yeah. vibe than he used to have so i feel like they're like and anthony's more of like the new guy here so he's still like figuring he's, things he's giving out giving timid when he's yes yeah. exactly their confidences are in such different realms realms yeah. you know because anthony really i think puts a lot of effort I, ian does too and especially lately yeah, yeah but anthony really puts a lot of effort into like how he dresses and like he's got all these cool tattoos and piercings and all this stuff like he's putting mm. a lot of work there uh that i think ian just doesn't care about i'm not sure that but, that's serving but ian's, ian's personality sometimes yeah. ian really can be like unfazed in a way that's like oh you actually just won't let that hurt you or yep. won't that let that affect mm -hmm. you and uh like going back to that promo there's moments in it where it's just like, damn, oh, yeah. whoa, to see him all confident like this. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah I had like a crush when yeah. he was the father. I was like, in that promo, Ian served, served maybe the most. <laughs> oh, in that promo, that Honestly, was probably him at yes. his peak. I think, I think Ian's definitely serving. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think Anthony definitely serves, but I think right now as being more of the new kid in this building, which is where we see him the most. Yeah. I think Ian is serving because he's just got that like air of like i don't care mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's yeah. what i'm thinking it's so interesting though how they're they're they are confident in such different ways they really are yeah i see i feel like it flip-flops um, see, see this, is, this, is what, this is what the show's like yeah. there's no there's no right opinion you just kind of look at a thing and go yeah m maybe that that is um go watch tommy's show yeah definitely yeah. go watch hopefully it. at this point all five episodes will be out we shot a sixth episode Shh. but it turned out um, I haven't looked Ooh. at the, in on set. It felt very we tried something because like that was the whole point of it. Is like we had we had the day, and so each person who came on, we like had the thing that's like kind of tailored to them and like their vibe. And so each episode has its own like oh. very unique vibe to it, which is cool. And like the way it's edited, also by me, is very like structured and uniform, so that there's at least something. Cause you know, you go to a YouTube show, you want the same thing over and over again, but in different fonts. Right. Uh, and one of the episodes turned out a little too off 
the tracks mm -hmm. in a way that like it might maybe maybe if the other episodes do really well, I'll release the sixth episode as a little surprise. Whoa! Um, cool. Wow! Uh, but yeah, I think by now all five episodes will be out, and I think Courtney's is uh, probably one of my favorites. Ooh, fantastic! Ah. How how much work? Because you do so much on it. Mm -hmm. How much work was it, and how long of a process was it from start to finish? Oh, oh, oh. I uh, I thought of the idea like um, probably like four or five months before we started filming, but that was right before uh, my friend Alex and I did the Everything's Getting Worse here at Smosh. So yep. we like had cool. to throw that aside and just cool. dive into adapting that to a streamed thing as opposed to a live show. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so after that was done, um, I needed help and in, in, in producing all of it. So I, I went back to Alex and uh, we worked on it and like produced, you know, like built it out and all that. And that probably took like a month and a half, maybe two months ish. Mm -hmm. And uh, filming was a day, crazy. And then um, right after that, I had a little, uh, it's a little shake up in life. And so I took a few weeks to kind of like have some fun mm. and uh, recenter. And then uh, I dove in to edit. And uh, yeah, each the first episode was crazy because it's like when you're first, when you're diving into something that isn't made yet. Yeah, and it's like we fit, we we recorded a bunch of extra stuff like on the day, little catchphrases and things like that in case we wanted to use it. Yeah, right. And also, like after the day was over and we realized that we didn't want to use that episode, which then also canceled out another thing that we filmed. Uh, it was only going to be five. So anyway, building out like making the sound effects choose making the music because I've made the music and the sound effects so I don't have to do a deal with copyright crap. Um, wow. Editing, the graphics, like it's all me. It's all me front to back. It's crazy. The end to and fro. So it's like I leave Smosh, I go home, I work out, I sit down, I chill out, and then <laughs> I open my laptop and I work for three or four hours. It's crazy. So and then I come back here the next morning. How do you, so as a person who, I'm a very collaborative person, and this seems like a project that is very much you on your own. Yeah. How do you stay self-motivated to continue mm. to work a full-time job and then come home and do your passion project by yourself? Like, no one's telling you to get it done. How do you stay self-motivated? Uh, fear. Oh, fear, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, <laughs> that, the answer would be fear. Serving. Uh, serving fear. Serving That's fear. actually, I think, what I serve the most. And what do you, fear. what are you like um, fearing? Oh, just it's, it was for me. It was like having those three weeks off. It's like wow, it's been a, almost a month since we filmed it. I need to get this done. What am I doing? You know, it's like time. For I'm always scared of uh, time, like going by too fast, and then I'm old and then I'm dead. Yeah. Like that's like always in the background. Mm, that's like okay. my the driving force of my person, which is why like if you waste my time, I'm gonna be pissed off at you. Right, time like, matters. You stole my life, that's how I see it. <laughs> it's very stark, but it's how I see it. So it's like, w w there's only so much time left in the year. Right now, as we're mm. sitting down, I have three episodes out. I just kind of finished the fourth one at my lunch hour. Oh, I also work on my lunch hour uh, when I'm here, on con for the most part. I don't know how you do that. Um, and, uh, well, I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, well I, it's, it's this one time that I've been doing yeah, this. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. like, I don't feel... I think it was also all the effort leading up to it that's like, well, we gotta finish, we gotta finish the story. We gotta finish the job. You gotta finish the story. And yeah. it sounds like you've given yourself deadlines. Tried to. Absolutely so tried to. So tried to, to give yeah. yourself because when you're self-motivating and you're it's your own passion project, yeah. there's no one saying, Hey, hey Tommy, this is due, right. except for yourself. Right. So setting deadlines mm -hmm. is really good to kind of give yourself um, a basis of like when this needs to get done and a bit more of a hurry. Yeah. Right. But then also the, the other side of that coin, which is a great thing is like, I put out the first episode on a Saturday. I put out the second episode the next Saturday. And then I realized I'm too far behind and I can't make the next Saturday. Like I can't, that deadline just couldn't be done. Mm. And so like, I was just like, Oh, I can do whatever I want actually. And yeah. so I was like, see you in two weeks. Oh, it's and my I, channel. Yeah. And then I did, and then I did the two weeks, and there's that one, and then I ran into a humongous roadblock, and mm. so it's it's going to be two more weeks until the next episode's out. But like, whatever. Who cares? You you're are gonna, your own yeah. boss. You're going to watch it. You are your own boss. You are your own CEO. Yeah. Would you it, would you rather be on your own in that sense, or would you rather have a team being like, 
no, that's not okay, Tommy, but then also help you with deadlines and stuff? It would be different if I was getting like also paid to do this work, mm -hmm. even though it's like my thing, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like if there was like, for me, the motivation is just, I want to get it out and get it done. But like, I, if, if a team was like, Tommy, you need to do this, I'd be like, well, who produced the show? Who's editing the show? You know, yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like, get off my ass. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's like, I'm glad no one's doing that right now. But like, if it was more official, like let's say this turns into like a chicken shop date kind of thing, which is like the sure. idea. It's just mm -hmm. like, I want any person to come on and sit down with me and have a blast. You got it. Like so that's fun. the idea. So fun. Um, so it's like, if, if that were to happen, then I'd want a bigger team. And then it would be like, hopefully by then I would have an editor who like, can see the format and just do that. Right. But you're not doing this with any, you were talking, you talked to me about it a little bit over the months and you're doing this ultimately for fun. Yep. Like you're, you're doing it for <laughs> the passion of it and the joy of it. And that's probably why it turned out so great. And probably part of why you actually were able to do it. Because yeah. like if you're going about this like I need to to be doing my own projects I need to because that's my line of thinking when I'm trying to do stuff outside yeah. of Smosh and it's why I feel like I haven't succeeded is because I'm coming from this place of obligation of like right. oh I yeah. should yeah. I should be doing other things and I yeah I got to find something to do and I I make it more work and then I just hate it and I'm exhausted because we we film long days here and it's a lot of work what we do. And so I get home and I'm like the thought of mm -hmm. expending more creative energy. I just don't have it. But if it was something that was purely for fun, mm -hmm. yeah, then it's a little different. A passion project has to be something that's fun. And I also see it as like a fire that's inside of you that if you don't tend to it, you're going to burn burst. up. You're yeah. going to burst. That's how I see passion projects. Like when I wrote my one woman show, it I literally wasn't like, and now I will write my one woman show. It like bursts out of anger and sadness and excitement and fear and joy until I was like listening to um, music that I was obsessed with and just writing. Like I feel like passion projects have to birth from this mm -hmm. big magic moment. I love Elizabeth Gilbert and that book is amazing. But that big magic moment where you're like, oh, bing, light bulb. And then if you gotta, it's almost like if you don't jump on it, oh. you're gonna combust. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know? the fun part is the most important part. Like as much as it is work and it is stuff like that, it's like yeah. trying to have fun during the whole process as much as you can. You have to remind like, yourself of that. Cause sometimes you can get to a place where you're like, I've gotten so far. Yeah. I feel sick right before I'm about to perform. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Literally. Uh, and some parts of it, of anything are just not fun. The, the, right. Like the, nothing is fun through and through, right. no. and you have to accept that. I'm yeah, just like okay, well, parts of this are gonna suck. Yeah, parts but of this are gonna suck. But if the most of it will be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. If you think about it, and there is that like level of fun, it is what's gonna drive you. But if it's yeah. not fun, if you're doing it for someone else, or if you signed on to a project with another collaborative person who you almost like oh, mm -hmm. then those are things that I just think nowadays are just not worth it. Yeah. Time is yeah. precious. Yeah. But maybe that's because we're all 30. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just think it's so cool that no, you're doing it's, this. It's really Thanks. cool. It's amazing. Is there added pressure? Because the, you know, it it's done very well. Thank you. And I mean, I, I don't know what you were expecting when you put it out, but. Yeah. Does it add more pressure? Has it changed your point of view on making it now that, you know, a decent audience has watched it and likes it? Yeah, I mean the Mac episode has like 200k views, which is like that's really great. That's, amazing. that's a good amount. And that uh, was the when first you're when you're doing it all out. yourself, yeah, and that's like some of your first episodes on a channel. That's yeah. actually insane. It is crazy. You know, so thank most, you. <laughs> you think about it, like most YouTubers truly go years getting n hardly any views. Yeah, right. And so by the time you're getting views, it's like, well, I've been doing this so long that it's one thing. Yeah. but this mm -hmm. is your first. Yeah, I mean the it adds pressure in a way where it's just like I want to get them out you know it's like yeah. it's like if it's already if the audience is there and is hungry for it then it's like like damn this extra week that I have to take mm -hmm. to edit it I'm like ah, nah, it's not my favorite thing but that so that's like the only pressure otherwise it's like I feel like uh, with most things you just have to like convince someone to like buy into your idea and then once yeah. they're bought in they're bought in 
So it's like even if one episode like doesn't hit the same way or whatever, it's like you're still you'll still enjoy you're it. Still There's still in. part of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no like no big pre- I, I literally was like this will get 30k views total. I literally was like all the episodes total will get and then that'll be that. And that'll be fun. And that's fun that. and low expectations are also um, part a of a great passion combo. project. If you do it for fun and low expectations like I'm just doing this because it's fun mm-hmm. and then something bigger happens. That's that's ugh. how you do it. Yeah. I, I, the best. I, I who someone said this recently. I think I want to say it was Alex said something that there's like a saying at some university of like they have a no masterpiece policy. Huh. And I, I when I heard that I was like, oh, that's really great because what's held me back over the years is my perfectionism, mm-hmm. mm. and uh, it's something that I've thought about for the uh, my entire time at Smosh. It's been like a oh well, I should make my own videos. Mm-hmm. I should work on my own channel, mm-hmm. and it's just so hard. But I think a part of that is that I. I put this pressure of like what it needs to be as opposed to like I could literally film some bullshit and upload it to a channel. Yeah. And that might be better than nothing. Um, It's certainly something I am, I have been pondering and would love to try and do at some point, which is yeah. making my own channel and making my own stuff. It, but I'm not making any promises. I think, to those I think that. That's awesome because I think the best way to kind of move through that is to just make stuff that you're passionate about in that moment. Yeah. And a lot of it will happen and right. it happens and then it just goes. But you get used to making and then moving on and making yeah. and moving on and making and then maybe something else comes from that. Mm-hmm. And then it's like a double meaning. It's like, oh, someone, yeah. you know, it's just if, if you are passionate about it, jump on it because the the I always think that when I am like old hopefully in my bed dying like the woman on the Titanic um I hope that I'm like god I I I jumped on most of my passion projects mm-hmm. and one did well like that yeah. I always think back to that that is my motivator like it's, it's one, kind of the same thing that I have, where it's like I'm really? gonna be, I'm gonna be dead one day, and so I better be happy about Are you that. The Titanic woman too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a thing that I there was so before like it did well, there was a different kind of pressure that like I see what you're saying. Um, I didn't think about like I, I was like wait, this is like my like debut in this medium. Like I was like, oh, oops. Like I didn't think about, I was just like, yeah, I'll shoot the show, it'll be fun. And we'll like edit it and we'll put it up. And then like, as it was happening, I was like, oh my God, this is like me like doing like a, it feels actually way bigger than just like, oh yeah, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Um, and then because I kind of like accidentally fell into doing that, I was like, all right, whatever. I was yeah. like, okay, if it does well, who cares? Or if it does, if it doesn't do well, also who cares? Mm-hmm. And and who knows, I could put out five episodes of Serving oh. and then put out a different thing on that channel or I'll disappear. I'll do whatever I want to do, actually. Yeah. And yeah, All it's, that matters it's is actually fine. You're following your passion, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just like letting go of that, like, the pressure of it. It's still there? Well. It's still um, there. Yeah. And I, I mean, <laughs> look, you're killing it. But it's it's there in like a fun way. Yeah. Um, But we do want to have a little end segment yeah oh. uh, our our one for today is um we're trying new things we're trying new things yeah, 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 yeah. did we have uh okay yeah lip service yeah lip service so this is this is our little gossip segment mm-hmm. oh this is like silly tea or gossip or things that we have insider into that yeah. maybe you might not know. Yeah, the, and it maybe could be about anything. Know. It could be about anything you want. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like celebrity gossip or even gossip about here at Smosh. It could be like any anything in the whole world. Anything in the whole world. Um, mm-hmm. I have been thinking about it all day, and I'm struggling. Uh, this is definitely. I am not good at coming up with tea. This one's. This one's hard. This one's really tough. But I feel like you're good at coming up with tea. (laughs) Here's our segment that we're putting right on you, Here's our segment. Tommy, would you like to go first? Yeah, yeah, I can go first. Uh, At least the tea and the bow family uh, right now. uh, uh, My dad is working toward retirement. Whoa. Which is is awesome. Oh, that is tea. Because Mr. Thomas Bow Jr. needs to sit down. (laughs) He (laughs) needs to sit down. And he needs wow. to have another rum drink, and I and you should, Tom. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that, that's up and coming. Okay. There's that, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Here's my okay. tea. It's very dumb. Uh -huh. I just thought of it right now, this moment. I kind of lied to my husband last night, but... <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> this is tea. So we're both kind of intermittent fasting, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it with you. Absolutely. <laughs> we were supposed to be done at 8, and then at 8.15, I went in the fridge, and I poured myself a little gin and soda with, like, a lime, and I was like, oh, shit, it's past intermittent fasting. And I opened the soda water and poured it in, and he went, got up and ran into the kitchen and went, what's that? I just went, soda water. And he was like, it's after our time. And I was like, it's soda water. Damn. He was like, to his face. Really? And I was like, <laughs> yep. And he was like, yum, can I have some? And I was like, no. I'll make you one. <laughs> and I made him one. He, he knew. knew I he was knew. fucking lying. And I was just like, I'll make you one. <laughs> and he was like, okay. Okay. I was like, okay. Hmm. And that's my fucking nutty tea. That's some nutty tea. <laughs> that's my lip service for today. Shane, you got I anything? Dumb one. It's 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 more confessing a secret, but it's I guess <gasps> so in a way it's tea. Back when I was, I want to say I was like 15, um, we were visiting, uh, my family and I were visiting some family friends. Okay. And they had a son who was like, had to have been like eight to ten years old. Um, but but in their backyard, they had like a really nice backyard, and they you know they, like any they were you know like a middle class upper middle class family. They had like a bunch of nice toys, and like a, he had like several bikes and stuff like that, like you know that kids have. But he had like they were like small little bikes, and and you know me at fifteen, me still now, if I see a, any form of like bike, I'm gonna try to see if I can ride it. You know, what? if if it's like a tiny, awesome. but you know when a bike is like too small for you, yes. and it's just really tempting like, to be like, well, can I ride this little tiny ride. bike? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so like there's a little tiny bike in their backyard, and I was kind of just like alone, just in the backyard, and I was like. I'm gonna try to ride this tiny little bike. And I get on this tiny little bike and I break the fucking <laughs> seat off. Like fully. How, how in instantly did it happen? Oh, pretty instantly. Like I sat on it and it broke off. And I was like, it like broke off from the like the rod <laughs> of the seat. The metal. Like, it's, but, well, it wasn't, I don't, I forget how it broke so easily, but I was like, oh my God. And I like kind of repositioned oh, it back no. and then was just like, oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. didn't tell a soul and just kind of like put it back where it was. Maybe it was a cheap bike and it doesn't matter. Maybe they wouldn't care. They'd be able to easily get another bike. And it was also not their only bike. But I definitely was just like, oh, okay. And I never heard anything about it since. But I did that and I felt bad. I think about it occasionally. because I, I the mom was in the window like, <gasps> I saw what he did. She's like, finally that bike's going to be out. I saw you break his bike. <laughs> I felt more bad that I'm like, that kid's going to try to sit on that bike. She's going to break it. going to fall off. No, the freaking rod's going to go. No, it wasn't. It didn't break like that. It didn't <laughs> It didn't break like that. It broke in a way that that wouldn't be what happened. But <laughs> it's still. That kid's in a full body cast from that bike accident. <laughs> You're he, serving asshole he right died. now. Uh, uh, okay. No, but I feel, I feel bad about it. Wow, and lip so service. The tea is on myself. The tea is on yourself. The tea is on all of ourselves. I spilled tea all over myself. I'm wet. You're wet. Oh, great. And with that, guys, please go watch Tommy's show, Serving, oh. a.k.a. Serving Helen Hunt. Yeah, YouTube.com slash at, I think it's slash at now, slash at, fun to say. Uh, Tommy Bones, T-O-M-E-Y-B-O-N-E-S. We'll, right. we'll, we'll attach it below. Yeah. Too. Hell yeah. And uh, let us know what our vibes are. Yeah, what are we all serving? Yeah. Well, give, us, give us the vibes. Give us yeah. the nouns. What are we serving? And uh, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. We're so proud of you, Tommy. Thank I'm proud you. of you, Tommy. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love, uh, I love um, you. I mean, um, um, sorry. No. Love you. I, I mean, can you pick me up now? Oh God. Oh. oh. God.